all of you on United People's TV know by now how much of an admirer of Ruben Neves I am. And Manchester United this summer, we're going after Jadon Sancho. We're linked with Rafael Varane. We've been linked with Erling Haaland, Harry Kane, tons of other centre-backs, even right-backs, Kieran Trippier, but not really with any defensive midfielder. And for me, it blows my mind because defensive midfielder is the single most important signing that Manchester United have to make this summer. And while Ruben Neves might not be a natural, pure defensive midfielder like Wilfred Ndidi, like N'Golo Kante, like Fabinho, like Fernandinho, like Thomas Partey, like every other club in the top six has, I think he could be a perfect signing for United. In this video, I want to explain exactly why. Please make sure you do subscribe by the end of the video if you do enjoy it, and maybe if you agree with me, some of you will, and plenty of you won't. That's what I've seen whenever I've talked about Ruben Neves, but in this video, I want to explain exactly why I think Ruben Neves could be a perfect signing for United this summer. And with this one, I'm going to start by taking a look at the stats from last season. 2020-2021 Premier League season. Looking at the per 90 stats of Ruben Neves up against some of the best players in that defensive midfield role in the Premier League. Because so many people just say Ruben Neves is a, is a long shot merchant. That's all he is. But it really is doing him a disservice. And let's take a look at these stats together. I've compared Ruben Neves here with Declan Rice with N'Golo Kante, the greatest in that role, uh, Wilfred Ndidi and Fabinho. And I, I, I've i compared them in a variety of different stats, touches, goals, touch, chances created, passes. Compl I'll run through it together. If we look at touches, only Fabinho has more touches, is more involved per 90 than Ruben Neves. Looking at the goals, he's got the most. And that's, that's going to be the pe where people say, oh, look, he's just a long shot merchant. But he really isn't when you look down at everything else. Chances created per 90. He's the best out of those five. Now, most importantly, other than chances created or goals or anything, it's their defensive contributions. That's what you want a defensive midfielder to do first and foremost, break up the opposition's play. And that's what United are missing at the bottom of a midfield three that could allow Bruno and Pogba to play further up. We need that player to hold that position. Looking here at passes completed, only Fabinho has completed more in the 90 than Ruben Neves. Pass accuracy, he's actually the lowest of the five. So that's probably, you could say, the weakest part here. Looking at passes completed in the opposition half, only N'Golo Kante has more. So Ruben Neves is a progressive midfielder. And again, that's important. That's what we need. We don't just want a defensive midfielder who's just going to constantly pass it sideways like Nemanja Matic does. We need someone who can bring it through the lines, can bring it up to Pogba, can bring it up to Bruno. He'll even go over the halfway line himself. And he's got plenty of that. Passes completed in his own half. Only Fabinho has more. And Fabinho's got plenty more. Uh, now, four passes. This is what I'm interested in. Only Fabinho completed more. 18.9 four passes per 90 from Ruben Neves with Fabinho on 21.2. As I said, it's important there that you get a midfielder who can progress the ball forward. And if Ruben Neves here, he's better than Declan Rice and Golo Kante and Wilfred Ndidi at doing that. Looking at duels contested. 9.5 per 90. And Didi is the winner there with 13.8 per 90. But again, he's up there. He's only one less per game than N'Golo Kante. Tackles made 2.9. N'Golo Kante is 3.4. The winner there is Ndidi. Ndidi is the most aggressive there with duels contested and tackles made per 90. He's the best there. Ground duel success, 48.9. He's the weakest in there by some distance, actually. And again, that could be a slight that you could hold against him. But for me, I think he can improve in that. Clearances. Doesn't really matter. Interceptions, 2.2 a game. And Golo Kante's 2.5. And Didi's 2.6. He's up there in the mix. Blocks per game, 0.4. 0.5 is the most, and that's in Didi. You look at these stats, and it goes to show that Ruben Neves is not just a long shot goal merchant, which I think he is unfairly labelled. And that's why I wanted to do this video to explain that, to show that, to prove that. And stats can only tell you so much. So I'm not saying that these are the sole reason why Ruben Neves would be a perfect signing for United, but it goes to show that he's not just a long shot merchant. And that tag needs to be dropped because it's just incorrect. And if you look at these three heat maps, these are his positions, his average position from the 1819 season, 1920 and 2021. You can see that he's used to operating in the middle, in his own half, slightly deeper. He's not an attacking midfielder, man. Ruben Neves is a central midfielder that has more natural defensive tendencies than he does 
attacking tendencies. It's just that he's got a wicked long shot on him as well. And that there's so many reasons why I would be excited to sign him. And all these stats just kind of back me up in saying that. And he's versatile as well. He's played pretty much every role in central midfield in a 4-2-3-1 with Wolves, 4-3-3, a 5-3-2, a 4-4-2. He can be versatile. And that's always important when it comes to a midfielder. Obviously, he's not a pure defensive. If you ask me, who would I rather sign out of Wilfred and Didi and Ruben Neves tomorrow? I'd probably choose Wilfred and Didi because he absolutely suits exactly what we need. But it doesn't take away from the fact that I think Ruben Neves would be a perfect signing. And I think with the right coaching, he can be coached more into that role. Because at Wolves, he's had to play different variety of formations and positions. And he's switched in and out with Dian Donka. Martino comes in. He switches. But at United, he could become that bottom part of that pivot three with Bruno and Pogba just in front of him. And I think what we've seen with Pogba at the Euros, what we've always seen with Pogba in France, is when you play somebody behind him who really is capable of just sweeping in front of the defence and doing all the dirty work, that it really allows Pogba to just concentrate on progressing the ball forward. And that's where Pogba is at his best. And not only would Ruben Neves, I think, suit United's needs of what we need in a midfielder, there's plenty of other reasons why he would be a smart signing for United. Right now, I think Ruben Neves, his price is 35 million. If you tried to sign Ruben Neves 18 months ago when Wolves were flying, you would have spent 70, 80 million. And when you're looking at the fact that Declan Rice is going to be 80, 90 million, I'm sorry, but I don't see three times the player in Declan Rice than I do see in Ruben Neves. And that's personal opinion, but I, I just don't. And I think he's only 21. Well, I don't think, I know he's only 24. And he's got so much of his career ahead of him that I think a move by United for Ruben Neves would just be so smart for a variety of reasons. As I explained that, from a from a a club perspective, he's 24, he's only 35 million, he's Premier League proven, he's got bags of experience, he's got the Portuguese link up with Bruno Fernandes. Tick, 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 tick. There's plenty of reasons there that it would be a smart signing. And looking at his stats and comparing him to the best players in that role in the Premier League, he stacks up against them. He's not just a long shot merchant. And that's why I wanted to do this video because I've been saying all along that I would love United to sign Ruben Neves. And while he's not that pure defensive midfielder, and that is the thing that I think people can fairly comment on this video and say, look man, that's not exactly the position we need. He's just going to turn into another Fred who's more of a central midfielder rather than a defensive midfielder. And in that sense, I do agree. But I don't... Ruben Neves strikes me as a player that can be coached into that position. And maybe that's the wrong way to do it. If you look at what United have done in previous years, Anderson is always one that strikes me. We bought him as an attacking midfielder and Fergie tried to turn him into a defensive midfielder. And it didn't really work. Obviously, the injuries didn't help him. And Ruben Neves, yes, you would be not signing a purely defensive midfielder. You'd be turning him into one. But he's got all the capabilities and he has operated in very similar roles. Not exactly that role, but very similar roles at Wolves. And I just can't see how it wouldn't be a smart signing. And another thing to really consider this summer is the fact that United really are not going to spend a huge amount of money in terms of net spend. And by that, I mean more money spent on players than players that are being sold. Now, players being sold, and I've seen this, uh, who was it, in the Telegraph? I think it was James Ducker saying that Solskjaer needs to reduce his wage bill and sell players before signing a defensive midfielder. It's, it, it's genuinely mind-blowing, and it actually aggravates me. It pisses me off, because that's how important, I think, signing a defensive midfielder is to United's success opportunities next year. If we don't sign one, we're going to be stuck with Fred and McTominay in, in a double pivot, and we're going to be taken away from our attack, and we won't be good enough in the big games. Simple as that. Signing a player like Ruben Neves will help us. And I just, for me, it's a win-win situation. Ruben Neves, he's a quality player already. I think he can go on to become even better. We've seen at Wolves just how good he can be. He's got the long shots in him too. That's an added bonus rather than being the core of his game. As I've shown in the stats there, comparing him against Ndidi at Leicester, Kante at Chelsea, Declan Rice at West Ham and Fabinho at Liverpool, he stacks up in all the important defensive departments, he progresses the ball forward. He's good in the duel. He's not as good as the others in the duel, and that's something he can work on. But I just see so many reasons why, for me, 
Ruben Neves would be a perfect signing for Manchester United. Would I prefer to sign a pure world-class out-and-out defensive midfielder? Yes, I would. But I don't think we're going to do that because they just command too much money. And United right now are not going to be spending that sort of money. We're not going to be spending 80, 90 million on Declan Rice, so you may as well bin that. And who else are we going to sign? And Didi? I'd love to sign and Didi, but A, would Leicester sell and B, we're not even in for him. We're not even in for any defensive midfielder at the moment. That's what's blowing my mind. That's why I want to do this video. Bring Ruben Neves back to the... Not just Ruben Neves, but the concept and, and the, the chat about a defensive midfielder has to be front and centre. Not just Jadon Sancho. Although that is very exciting. Let's see what goes on with Jadon Sancho. But I'll be very interested to know what you think about this in the comments. So you can let me know what you think about Ruben Neves. Am I barking up the wrong tree? Do you think I'm wrong that Ruben Neves could be a perfect signing? Is he more a central midfielder and a, and a long shot merchant? Or do you think I'm right? Do you think that the stats really show that he has that capability, he's shown that at Wolves, and he can operate in that position at United if he becomes a, a sort of, I don't know, just he gets put into that role and that is his role. And he becomes a specialist in that area. He's 24, he's still got plenty of years ahead of him. Let me know what you think. I'll be very interested to hear what you say on this one. But I've been banging the drum about Ruben Neves for a couple of years now. And now I see he's the perfect, the best opportunity to sign him and at a good price. So I want to know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, good. Make sure you subscribe, it's free. Click the subscribe button down below. I'll be here next week with plenty of live videos. Hopefully some Sancho news, and maybe in the future, some Neves news. That's what I want, but do you want it? Let me know what you think in the comments below.